thank God that we don't have to wait until on Sunday morning to pray. We can pray the minister. Amen. Yes. I tell my husband, my, my pastor all the time, sometimes I, I be driving along on the job. I have to stop my truck and say, thank you, Jesus. Yes. 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 Do it, do it. Yes. To come down to our help, you know, our help is just a, uh, it's a part of it's something that we have to take care of now to live day by day. And if you don't have take care of your health, you um, just expect anything. You might end up dying earlier than you should, than you want to die, but you have to take care of health. But the first thing is that we're going to talk about is colon cancer. Colon cancer is the third colon cancer that is diagnosed between both men and women in the United States. It's the third leading cancer that is caused death by men and women. A lot of us don't like to talk about colon cancer. A lot of people don't know how to identify colon cancer. A lot of people say that they shouldn't take care of the colon cancer. She's done such a lovely job this morning. and our ladies that prayed this morning. Give them a hand. And so this awesome coach of mine, I have heard of her one time, but Lord, she blessed my soul this morning. I truly know that the Lord is using her mighty. Oh, uh, minister, sister, her God bless you. God bless you. And uh, Sister Bryant. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You never say no. That's my niece, everybody knows. Okay, thank you. Who, um, Reverend Regan, who took time out this morning to come and be with us. Would you just stand and okay. wave your hand and let people see you? <laughs> to my friend and my proud team partner, Reverend Gracie Smith, whose shoulder sometimes I have to lean on. Would you like to have a word this morning? We thank you for taking the time out to be with us. I know these ladies have busy schedules because they have churches, uh, but still they come out to be with us. 